Hi everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Tracy's 1980s Laundromat. Today I'm going to be discussing Fab detergent from uh, Colgate Palmolive in the 80s. Um, before I get started, I had a few suggestions, so I'm going to add in a commercial. So take a look at the commercial, then we'll be right back. Mommy, do blankets have feet? What? Mine's wearing socks. That it cling again? Get the only lemon freshened detergent for a clean that breaks the static barrier. Fab with full strength fabric softener. Full strength fabric softener plus full strength detergent in Fab? Fabulous. No more static cling. And look how clean. Blanket soft. And lemony fresh. Get a clean that breaks the static barrier. Oh, Fab. Quick Clad. It's full strength fabric softener in you. Okay. Now. That's the kind of commercial that I that made me fall in love with the product, uh, the packaging anyway, not the actual product. I, I really don't care about the actual detergent inside. Um, Fab is older than Bold. It came out in, I want to say, the early 50s, probably somewhere around 1950, 1951. Colgate Palmolive came out with Fab. And, again... Through the lines, it was changed. The name was changed. It used to be called, um, I think it was called Lemon Fresh or Lemon Borax or something like that. With um, It was a bigger title than just Fab like it was in the 80s. Um, and it continued on, and Colgate Palmolive continued to distribute it for a long time, well into the 90s, well into the 2000s. This one right here is from 1992. Um, when they started coming out with all the ultras and stuff, this was a sample size that was mailed out. This one is, I believe, from 1984, this box right here. And this one right here is the current one that you can buy in stores. It's now distributed by Phoenix Brands because Colgate Palmolive, like Procter & Gamble, dumped a bunch of their titles that they had. So you can still buy Fab, and it smells sort of similar to the way that it used to, but not exactly. There's been some changes made. As a matter of fact, I think Fab is one of the only detergents that smells like lemons and also contains formaldehyde, which is an interesting concept. I've never even seen a detergent contain formaldehyde, but Fab does. I don't know if it's in the powder or not, but I know it's in the liquid. Um, anyway, um, they also came out in the 80s with this thing called Fab One Shot, which they had everything in one little packet that you would throw from the laundry into the dryer and it would travel with it and supposedly did the softening as well. Um, I believe there's a commercial for that. Uh, let's take a look at that right now. Introducing Fab One Shot Packs, a new way to get clean, soft, static free clothes all in one shot. <laughs> Throw in your dirtiest clothes, then toss in a Fab One-Shot Pack. From washer to dryer, clothes come out so clean, soft, and static-free, anyone can look like a pro. New Fab One-Shot Packs does it all in one shot. So you see, that's that's what they came up with. Um, didn't last long. <laughs> I think it lasted long enough to get samples out, and then they pulled it from the market because it just was not selling. So, um, you can find that on eBay as well from time to time. I'll try to be more cohesive with linking up descriptions and places of things that's where you can go and visit and find these products. Um, but more or less, it's just going to be hit or miss on eBay. If you're, if you're looking to buy these products, it's just going to be hit or miss because they're, they're on eBay. They're not on eBay. This one I got as, uh, it's empty and it does not have any detergent in it. And the reason it doesn't have detergent is because I took it out because it was starting to suffer from box rot on the bottom down here because it had apparently gotten wet or something and the detergent was starting to eat through the um the packaging i did not want it to do that so i emptied it out and sealed it back up the way that it was and again this is called a giant size believe it or not and as thin as it is this did about maybe six loads of laundry because remember this is what it took to do a load of laundry then so and it has the same little cartoons and descriptions on the back of it just like bold bold three and it's just another piece of packaging that i fell in love with because it kind of went on the same color scheme as bold three except for they chose purple instead of going with the bright orange background and wrote the letters in orange and then pink and yellow so i thought it really worked and it's another one that i've been really attracted to uh, again, I can't explain my obsession with these packagings. I think it, that's, think it has to do with the bright colors. 
but nonetheless, it is a favorite of mine. Um, a lot of mine are pretty much the similar same color scheme. I didn't like bland, boring colors. I think the closest that I've got to a bland and boring one is Oxidol, because it's mostly just a green box. But anyway, I'll be discussing that one later. Anyway, um, like I said, Colgate Palmolive dumped Fab, I think, probably in the mid-2000s. They decided not to make it anymore, along with a bunch of other. They made Cherished Toothpaste. They dumped that. They made um, Fresh Start Detergent. They dumped that. And Fresh Start has not made a reappearance on the market by any other brand yet. So, I don't know. Anyway... This one is just one of my favorite ones. Uh, I was happy to get this box. Um, like I said, uh, I poured out the detergent. This is when they contain phosphorus, and they have removed those completely from, from detergents because apparently it's really bad for the environment. It's not good for your laundry machines. So they've removed the phosphorus from all of these detergents. Um, this one did contain phosphorus, which is really good for cleaning, believe it or not. Um, if you Actually, what I did with the detergent that was in here was I poured it into my bathtub just to see how it would clean. Just let it sit there with some water and then rinse it out. My bathtub was so white it hurt my eyes. That is how good phosphorus cleans. But it's not good for the environment, so they dumped it. And it was also used, like I said, to brighten clothes, make clothes look whiter. And then they tried advertising, you know, that it, the new Ultra version helps clothes look newer longer. That's just a marketing gimmick. That's crap. There's no detergent that does that. I've never seen a single detergent that's ever made my clothes still look like they were new after washing them a few times. No. You can use the same detergent all the time, and your clothes are still going to get dingy. They're going to get faded, and they're going to get those little cotton balls all over them. So, you know, there's no way to avoid that. So just don't buy into that for any detergent that you buy because there's no detergent that helps your clothes look cleaner and newer longer. You know, cleaner, yes. Newer, no. Anyway, um... That's all I really have to say about Fab. Um, this one, like I said, is probably, you know, it's in my top ten of my favorite ones to admire the quality of and how it looks and the colors that they used. Other than that, this new packaging, I'm not feeling this. This is ugly. This is a very small box of powder. There is nothing to this. And I think these are just 99 cents at uh, Walgreens. So you can still pick those up. Not my favorite. This one, however, I still loved it, even though it's from the 90s. I still love it because it's such a bright, bright orange color. And they, they just switched it. They switched the, the Fab logo to purple and the outside packaging to orange. So they just switched it around a little bit. So it wasn't really that big of a deal. And this one contains three scoops with a scoop that's in it. And I've never opened this one. Never been tempted to because it's in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with this one except for a little wrinkle down here on the corner. Not bad. And, um, I think that's really all I have to say about Fab right now. Um, I think on my next video that I come up with, I think I'm going to work on, uh, Clorox pre-wash and Clorox 2, you know, made by the Clorox company. Um, you have to stay tuned for that one. I don't want to go into any depth about that one. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my next one.